I think baseball was where I got started as a photographer. It's, uh, you know, it's my, it was the, it's the whole story of you know, your father passing down something special to you when you're a kid, and it was baseball. He loved football too, but baseball was the one sport that uh, I really loved, and I cut my photographic chops on when I was 16 and 17 and I started going to Connie Mack Stadium in Philadelphia when I was 18 and 19 and I was younger than the players. Uh, you know, Neil and I both had that. We were younger than the athletes and I often wondered when other people saw us what they thought of Sports Illustrated when they were hiring kids because we were both teenagers covering the World Series once. You know what? It would be, except I really don't photograph any events anymore. All I do is portraits. I know sports photographer, you think about shooting action, and I certainly started there, but as the, the careers evolved, it came more feature-oriented in my pictures and more portraits, and now all I do is shoot portraits of uh, very wealthy, famous athletes. No. I go to the Super Bowl once a year, and you know, the other problem is if you do it once a year, you're not very good at it anymore. You know, I, I feel much slower, the game seems to be faster. I guess this is what happens when you get older. It's just, I can't do it. I tell the magazine I shouldn't even do it, but if I've gone to every Super Bowl, so I've got this streak, you have to continue. And in one way, I wish it was over, but I'd probably be a little sad if I wasn't at the game. The games are exciting, and it's exciting to be there, but no, I don't miss events. Oh, on every square inch of wall. Are you kidding me? Well, why would I hang anyone else's pictures up there? Uh, I do have a few hanging, but uh, as I've collected other people's photography, you know, my, my collection has dwindled. Uh, so I have a lot of great prints, and, and Neil was the one who basically got me started collecting photography. And, uh, you know, I've got people that will be here and James Noctway, I've got McCurry's, I've got Irving Penn's, Annie Leibowitz's, Neil's, uh, Peter Beard's, a lot of his work, uh, lots of people, Cartier Brisson, Raising the Flag at Iwo Jima. So uh, I love photography and they're like children to me and you know Neil will say the same thing. Photographers never stop shooting, they just die. <laughs> Look at Irving Penn, 92. Uh, Helmut Newton didn't stop, he just crashed into a wall. He would have still shot, and he was very good. John Zimmerman, a uh, great photographer who started in, the, he grew up on the West Coast, uh, he ended up in Connecticut, and then went back out to Beverly Hills. John Zimmerman, High Peskin. Marvin Newman was very good. Mark Kaufman, those were the photographers I admired when I was a teenager growing up. No. Trying to be a sports photographer. Zimmerman was sort of my mentor as I moved into the advertising world because he had spanned both the editorial and then moved in and did very well in advertising. And it's a, a, a big jump going from editorial into advertising, and for many reasons, you know, how much money you have in your bank account, uh, you know, the money that goes out, dealing with art directors. It was a a different world, and he was a, a great help to me then. Well, my son's a young photographer coming up, and uh, it's a very difficult period right now economically for any young photographer. Uh, like any other thing you're going to do in your life, if you don't really go at it with a, a great passion and have talent, you're never going to make it. Well, I must say I was overwhelmed today with the uh, the video <clears throat> because to me as, as beautiful as the prints look here, this whole exhibition comes down to those two 15-foot monitors because, you know, you go to a bar and there's a sports event on, everyone watches the TV. People are glued to monitors and the job they did with culling through the thousands of pictures of the two of us and the video they did of each of us and the other videos they cut, is, it was very emotional for me to watch today, and as was for Neil. It was very, very special. I mean, it was the culmination of our lives there.